when Destiny debates, what he does is he uses subjective adjectives. He uses subjective pronouns, right? So let's let let's take a look. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at the definition. And there are many many forms of sex trafficking, right? There are many many forms of sex trafficking, right? Many many definitions, but. We're just going to go with this definition. Sex trafficking is a form of modern day slavery. Let's stop right there. Let's stop right there. Modern day slavery. So now, and guys, I want you to understand, this is how laws are written. You can't just declare, you can't just declare slavery definition. The state of being a slave. So here we go. Here we go. The main definition of slavery the main definition of slavery. Slavery, condition in which one human being was owned by another. A slave was considered by law as property or chattel and was deprived of most of the rights ordinarily held by free persons. Slavery. The 13th Amendment, if I'm not mistaken, abolished slavery. The 13th Amendment abolished slavery. Let's look that up now. I'll continue with the video. Just give me a second. The, yes, the 13th Amendment, the abolition of slavery. Let's take a look at this. Neither slavery nor involuntary servitude, except as a punishment for crime, whereof the party shall have been duly convicted, shall exist within the United States or any place subject to their jurisdiction. The main word here, guys, is involuntary. This is involuntary. Slavery is involuntary servitude. Gentlemen, that's what slavery is. Sex trafficking, in order to meet one of the elements of sex trafficking, they call it sexual slavery. Well, if I'm not mistaken, didn't each and every one of these girls make the decision to do cam girl stuff? Here's another question that Pearl asked in the run-up to this. Um, could they leave any time they wanted to? Well, the answer is yes. No one, None of these girls were held against their will. None of these girls were held against their will. And this again, this is removing the accountability from women. Let's, let's flip it on its head. A man, gets, a man gets financially exploited by a woman, right? What does the world tell us? Too bad, you should have known, blah, 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 blah. Okay, all right, fine. All right, so she had a lip ring. She had a bull ring tattoo. She had a sleeve tattoo, purple hair, and three kids. Okay, that's on me, right? That's on me. And then, of course, men, you know, we're taught to see other signs by this community. Okay, that's on me. There's no crime. There's no crime for exploiting men financially. These men, and what do women always tell men? What do women always tell men who get bent out of shape that they're getting nothing in return? Well, you didn't have to buy me that car. You didn't have to pay my rent. You didn't have to give me that money. You didn't have to buy me that new iPhone. I didn't put a gun to your head. The Tate brothers did not put a gun to any of these girls' heads. These girls did what they did of their own free will and volition. That right there, that right there tosses the case right out the window. Because sex trafficking involves slavery. Slavery is involuntary servitude. And if these girls did this voluntarily, case closed. Let's continue. How the process plays out. I believe there's uh, in Romanian law up to a maximum of 180 days that they can remain detained while they finish their investigation. And then it's up to the Romanian court to decide whether or not they want to bring charges to the Tates. Right. So uh, in terms of what, what uh, Destiny said, I don't think that they've done everything A-OK. -okay. That's the first point. And the second point is I do believe that they've contra contravened certain um, domestic as well as international laws. And then separate to that, when it um, so, and separate to that, even s when you look at the um, remanding someone for 180 days, although that doesn't contravene law, 
I have serious issues with that as well. Could you wait? Could you say the second part of that again? Yeah. So, the, so the 180 days, mm -hmm. although that is within Romanian law, I have serious issues issues with it, and I can expand on that if you want. Okay. Yeah. Could you tell me why? Yeah, of course. So basically, we have a scenario where in Romania you ha you can basically detain someone without having adequate evidence to prosecute or convict. So wow. essentially, you detain someone, take away their liberty and rights, put them in prison, and then say, guess what, I'm looking for evidence. Now, I understand a lot of people may not understand the problems with this, but coming from the background that I am, being a Muslim, being an Asian, most a lot of our community have been through this, both in the United States and the United Kingdom. When your liberty is taken away, without due process, without having a trial, without evidence being submitted, and so for us, from the perspective of minorities and perspective uh, from that perspective we have serious issues because that was used to terrorize our community for more than 20 years so yes i will speak out about that even if it's in the united states the united kingdom romania france i think it's a serious issue when you could take away someone's liberty without having adequate evidence um, and six months is horrendous to take away someone's liberty that's a significant period of someone's life to say we haven't got enough evidence. We're going to jail you for six months, and then we're going to look for the evidence. Do you agree with him or no? Mm, I like, would if what he was say saying so was true. So okay. um, I feel like there's a lot of tricky word games being played when we talk about detaining somebody without enough evidence. Here we go. So tricky word games. Tricky word games. Um, Destiny, that, that, that sort of is go-to. You're playing tricky word games, blah, 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 blah. This is projection because Destiny is the king of tricky word games. So in the Romanian legal system, if you are in the finishing stages of an investigation, you can detain somebody while you finish that investigation up, especially if you believe that the people that you're detaining might be a flight risk. You can detain somebody without having enough ev evidence to charge them with a crime or convict them of a crime, obviously, but you do require compelling evidence to detain somebody, which is left to the discretion of the judges that are ruling on the case. Um, I've noticed that you've quoted that document sometimes, the one that was released in, it was either November or December, where the judge said that there's not enough evidence to convict of a crime. You said that several times, but they're not looking for enough evidence to convict them of a crime. What the judge was supposed to evaluate was, is there enough evidence to warrant detaining them? And he did feel like there was enough evidence at that time. And the statements that he's made and- Feel like. Feel like. The judge didn't feel like there was enough evidence to detain them. The judge, or rather, I guess that's the problem. The judge did feel like there was enough evidence to detain the Tates. That doesn't mean there was. If the judge says, I feel like there's enough evidence to detain the Tates, I'm sorry, that does not meet the legal standard. And again, I'm not a legal expert, but if a judge says to me, I feel like there's enough evidence, if I'm the Tates lawyer, I'm like, well, I mean, like, I understand you feel like there's enough evidence, but is there? Yes or no? Again, we're not dealing with subjective truth here, gentlemen and the Romanian Criminal Code are all completely okay with the UN and with uh, the United States and with any other international legal body. So I don't understand when we try to push against the Romanian legal system why we say things like it's against international law or it's against international freedoms when this is how the Romanian criminal court system has been structured. It's one of the reasons why Andrew Tate, you know, verbally said he was going to move there. Um, I don't agree that it's in violation of any international laws. If it is, I'd like to hear which ones. Sure, of course, I can, I can answer that, Destiny. So I'll answer your first point about... Um, in terms of the level of evidence that was required to remand them. So my position is that it's unacceptable to remand someone when you haven't got enough evidence to prosecute or to... Yeah, thanks for the super chats, Alana. See ya. ...to convict. The threshold to hold someone isn't uh, isn't the way you framed it, where it's very close to basically prosecute or convict. The evidence is based on reasonable suspicion, so the bar is very low to meet that threshold, hence why I have a problem with it. If the bar was much higher, it was close to uh, beyond reasonable doubt, maybe even if it was um, balance of probability, we could maybe talk about that and look at the possibility of why that would be acceptable. But when the balance is reasonable suspicion, the bar is very low, it's easy to meet, and that's why I think it's unacceptable, first point. Second point, in terms of... Okay, so if, I mean, I understand he has a problem with, and listen, I have a problem with it too. Reasonable suspicion is highly, highly subjective. Reasonable is subjective. Suspicion is highly subjective. So basically, Romania can detain anyone for literally any reason. That being said, that's the law. If that's the law in the books, we can have a problem with it if we want to. It kind of is what it is.